We have an epidemic of insomnia in this country for a variety of reasons. And most of us at some point in our life will have trouble sleeping. And at any one time, close to 40% of America doesn't sleep well. And we're looking for ways to try and solve that. And all too often what we're looking for is give me that magic pill. Do anything to put me to sleep. But what we don't do is we don't look for the underlying cause of why we don't sleep. Of course, that's what we should be doing. Yet there are things that we can do. We know how important sleep is. We know how important exercise is for a healthy lifestyle. It does so many good things for us. And if we combine exercise uh, with good sleeping habits, chances are we're going to sleep better. There was a study that was just completed that showed if we do two and a half hours of hard exercise a week, it increases our alertness and it increases our quality of sleep by something like 65%. So the exercise does so many things for us. It gets us in shape, it builds up our heart, it builds up our stamina, uh, it helps with hypertension and diabetes, it helps prevent cancer. I mean, the list goes on and on. And we like it. Most of us would like to have time to exercise. But with life in the fast track, that's the one thing that seems to suffer the most. And it looks like the average American is not getting seven to eight hours of sleep, but more like six to seven hours of uh, a, a night of sleep. And that makes you pay your toll. There are a lot of factors that keep us from sleeping. Things like sleep apnea, anxiety, depression, pain, a lot of medications. Probably 20 or 30 percent of the medications that are produced by Big Pharma or over the counter can interfere with sleepiness with our sleep or make us uh, uh, un make us sleep too much. And then there are a lot of medical conditions, of course, that can do that as well. One interesting thing they found is if we exercise two and a half hours a week with hard exercise, that leg cramps drop by almost 70 percent and our concentration improves something like 45 percent. Two more reasons why to do it. When we don't sleep enough, the problems that we get into have to lead to hypertension, to weight gain. It actually increases your appetite because it stimulates a, a hormone called leptin to not work as well as it should. We have leptin resistance. It thins our bones out. It makes, puts us at risk for osteoporosis. It's a, it puts us at risk for type 2 diabetes. And of course, if we don't get enough sleep, inflammation is something that sets into our system as well. And when we're inflamed, we're at risk for all the, all the epidemic of, of chronic diseases that we see. Heart attacks and strokes and cancers all go up if we don't get enough sleep. So it, it's not asking much to indulge ourselves in a little exercise that we enjoy and doing at least two and a half hours a week. I know when I was uh, in better health and could exercise as much as I wanted to, I was playing tennis maybe three hours a day. The shape that I was in was phenomenal. My weight was down, my blood pressure was good. Everything that I wanted to have in terms of good health was wonderful and I slept like a baby. So if we could get at least that much exercise uh, per week and we do what we can to live a healthy lifestyle, chances are that our quality of sleep is gonna be better and our overall health is gonna be much better and we'll be enjoying things because our quality will be improved substantially.